Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, the formerly nappy headed producer, now ball headed producer, showing you guys so many videos day throughout the week, producer, giving you guys great tips and making you rethink the way you mix and master and make beats all the time. What's up, everybody? I'm going to show you a technique. What if I told you that you were low pass and high pass filtering wrong the entire time? Even I've been doing it back in my OVs. What if I tell you we've all been low pass, high pass filtering? incorrectly and there is a better technique to use to low pass or high pass to where you can still cut the lows and the highs and all that but still retain the body and the fullness that you essentially are lo losing when you're doing that and you're probably thinking that don't make no damn sense then how can you cut shit and keep shit makes no sense you dummy i know I, I'm, I'm very stupid and i like to give you guys weird techniques for mixing all that but I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Today, we're going to be showing you a technique called low pass, high pass, resonant peak boost. Uh, I think that's what it's called. I don't know if it's correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. Who knows? But it's a technique that a lot of professional mixing engineers use and uh, producers and all that use. Um, it was, I think, very prominent in the days like when Mac DSP came out with their first EQ plugin. It had the feature already built into it. And, you know, you can really replicate this feature, you know, any plugin. I'm going to show you in the stock plugin and third party plugin. So no shitting on Mac DSP plugins. They're great. I highly recommend them. But you can still do any plugin. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So first, here's the beat so you can hear what it sounds like. So it might be loud, might not be. Who knows? So that's my little beat right there. So we're going to kind of cut the lows, but still retain them. So I'm going to show you what to do. So we use a stock EQ, stock EQ, damn it, <laughs> stock EQ. So here's the FS Studio stock EQ, just to give you guys a good example of how you can do it with stock plugins. First, hopefully all EQ is going to be like this. I'm not sure in other DAWs, but just to show you that you can do it with stock plugins, and I'll show you third party as well. So don't get mad at me, Logic, K Ableton, um, Studio One, and you can still do it. So don't, meh, meh. FO game for life. Anyway, uh, here we go. So we're going to start do the little low pass until the beat starts sounding thin and dull, you know, and then we're gonna I'm gonna show you what to do. So So about 50 hertz, the beat starts sounding really dull and kind of like uh you know, like losing look the bump but we're going to bring that knot back and simply we're just going to make a resonance peak or a resonance boost around this frequency so to do that if it's still you just turn your little mouse wheel until you start getting this little bump and once you get like that there you go that's a resonance bump see how it's kind of cutting lows but still bumping in there so now if i play it See how the bass just gets a lot tighter and more defined and more focused. Um, yeah, I know I'm losing a little bit of low end, super low end, because I'm like I said, I'm doing kind of an extreme example so you can really hear it. So it's, I really wouldn't do that much cutting in, you know, a full mix, of course. But, you know, it's great for doing drums and vocals and stuff like that. So, you know, the before and that. So I'll probably do like more of like a 44, 40 hertz, something like that. It's really boomy and. And just kind of tightens it up. It just it makes it less boomy and less prominent. Now, if you're going for that boomy niche, you want to get you know the lower frequency, of course. So, but you can just hear that it it cleans it up. It makes it less boomy and muddy sounding, but you're still retaining that punch of uh, you know the low end still. And like I said, it, it's a simple technique. You know, you, know, you can do it with high pass as well. You know, just boom, raising the bump and the highs. It just cleans the mix up so a lot better. You can hear. I mean, I hope you. I hope you listen to good headphones or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you might have to do it to tailor to your beat, of course. But like I said, we're gonna use a uh, Fab Filter Pro Q2 now to show you that you can do it in this way. It's one of my favorite uh, EQ. So go ahead and make a 12 dB octave. Usually stay within 12 dB or higher. You know, or 12 dB or lower. Because I mean, or higher. Because that kind of works the best. But I like to stay at like a 12 dB octave. Because just to keep that in mind, you know, future reference. 
Um, cause it makes the peak a little bit different. Like the peak will change depending on the, the slope. And I'll show you that too. So we do the same thing. We'll just cut into it sounds like dull and thin. Okay, right about there, about 45 is losing that punch and that, that, that knock in the bass. And then we're going to use the Q to make a resonance peak to bring it back. So. simple right and like i said by changing the slope it would change the peak see the higher the slope or the steeper the slope the less the peak is and you do like a six is like six don't even show so you gotta do 12 or higher in order for this resonance peak to really work so yeah just a simple technique on you know how to low pass the high pass in a different way to still retain some of the body or the high end that you're cutting in your mix so it's great for like i said vocals especially you cutting the lows you can bring back that resonance peak and kind of bring back the body of the vocals bass the same thing full mixes you know you can cut a little bit like you're using the mastering eqs or whatever cut a little bit boost a little bit of resonance back and bring that thickness back hope you guys enjoy um let me know if you guys already knew about this if you did cool i want to know you know that's what's up if you didn't try it out let me know what you think about it tell me it helps so let me say like always your boy slim aka miss different not motivated by the money but like, comment, subscribe, and views. And here's another tip for you guys, really quick. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.